Hey guys, welcome back to Just Being Mom Podcast. And as you can tell, I feel so much better than I did last week because I have been sleeping. Yes, go girl. I'm so happy. I'm so, like words can't explain how happy I am to be getting sleep. Okay, it's the best thing. And Elijah sleeping through the night. He wakes up once, but that's way better than waking up five times a night like he was. And it was torture so we are back in the clear for now um with the sleeping through the night and i love it and i'm so happy can you tell how happy i am i like i sound like so well rested (laughs) but anyways also happy father's day um i hope everybody had an awesome father's day and i want to give a special father's day to akeen he's the best dad we know let's clap it up for akeen Akeen's honestly the best dad that I know, and we love him. And Akeen just always gets the claps. Like, that's his thing, like the claps. (laughs) But anyways, um, so today on episode 11 of Just Being a Mom podcast, we are talking about how I save money as a mom. And saving money is literally my favorite thing. I'm so excited to talk about this because I love saving money. I am like the most frugal person Ever. Like frugal should be my middle name. Saving money should be my middle name. Whichever one sounds better with my name. I don't know which one. But I feel like it would have like a ring to it. Like Shelby, frugal, disu. Like I don't know. But anyways. Um, so I'm just going to give you guys a few things that. I mean I'm sure that you know. But just maybe ways to implement them into your life. And make it easier for you. So um, number one is eating out. So my family loves eating out. Um, But I feel like it's definitely something that we can cut back on. So I feel like if you eat out, let's say four times a week, maybe cut it back to three times a week or cut it back to twice a week. And um, you'll definitely see you saving money there. And also what I like to do is if I'm like wanting to eat out, I make whatever I was going to get at that restaurant. And then that way I'm like excited to cook because one, eating out, that's one of the main reasons you eat out so you don't have to cook. So now if I'm cooking something that I really want to eat and that I know my family will like, I'm more excited to cook it because I'm like, oh yes, I make the best pizza. So I'm definitely going to get up and make that pizza instead of going out and spending $70. I can spend $7 and feed my entire family. So definitely eating out is one. Number two is Costco. Okay, so if you're a mom and you don't have a Costco membership, I don't know how you do it. Not saying that you're doing it wrong, but I would die without Costco. (laughs) Like, I don't know what I would do without Costco. Um, It's literally my favorite place. I'm there so much, which I don't know if I'm saving money because I'm there so often. (laughs) But um, you could definitely save money at Costco. Like, they have, like... Um, rotisserie chicken for $4 for four ninety nine. Um, like the huge bags of the skinny pop. I love the skinny pop. It's my favorite. Like berries, veggies, just everything that you need for like way cheaper. Um, that some things cost more there. So you have to know what to get at like your local grocery store and then what to get at Costco because it can be tricky. Um, because some things do cost more, but I, regardless like I love Costco like I just love being in there like the air in there is just so awesome it just gives me life (laughs) Um, so now that you think that I'm weird (laughs) let's go to number three so number three is cut back eating meat so I don't know if you've noticed on your receipt the thing that you spend the most money on is your meat and I was looking at my receipts like um gosh, we spend so much money on the meat. Like meat is like 20 bucks and like everything else is like $4. So if you cut back on your meat consumption to make maybe like a couple times a week and there's also great veggie options or like vegetarian options that you can do throughout the other days that are really great. Um, But like the meat consumption is definitely like a big one that you can, where you can cut back and save money. Um... Yeah, and we, I didn't stop eating meat to save money. Well, we 
originally originally I went vegan and I was just like oh my god we're saving so much money and then I started eating like then I went to vegetarian and now I'm pescatarian all these labels like I don't like the labels but whatever um so but now I'm pescatarian and um but when we were, were not eating meat at all we were saving so much money and then I noticed like when we slowly started eating like fish again I was just like great like this is so expensive so definitely like consuming meat can be very expensive so i would look there to cut back um and number four i make my own cleaner so like when you go to the store and like buy like clorox wipes and like clorox spray and like all-purpose cleaners like they can be like anywhere from like five to seven dollars and it's just like so expensive but i make my own i at Costco, because <laughs> I love Costco, there, you can get two gallons of vinegar. I use vinegar for everything. Vinegar um, for $4. Like, that's amazing. And I, so I just mix it with water, and then that cleaner goes, I can use that for, like, months. As opposed to, like, a bottle of Lysol, which will go, like, super fast with as much as I clean it'll go in like two weeks so (laughs) um so I definitely feel like that could be a way and it's safer for your child like vinegar um is is a lot healthier for like if you have like little kids and like all the chemicals can be like harmful for your child and I use it to clean everything like the tub the kitchen the toy his toys like I use vinegar for everything (laughs) um so yeah that's a great way to save money too um so my number what number am i on number five is activities so you can spend so much money on like kid activities and like kid classes and like my gym and like museums and like just taking them to like all these activities and things like soccer even stuff like that um I feel that you can I first of all I feel like these things are all worth the money like the fit for mom and like all the the my gym I think all of that is worth the money but if you don't have the money, don't think that you can't improvise these things um, and make them your own. So I went to this sensory class once and um, it was awesome. Like, honestly, like the best experience. Like, I loved it. But it was $25 and I couldn't imagine myself spending $25 every time I wanted to go to this class. And um, obviously, like, if you spread it out, then that would be great. Maybe it, it could be affordable. But it's something that I want to do. There are things in the class that I want to do, like, every day with Elijah. And so I was just, like, I went out and I bought some of the stuff that they did in the class on Amazon. And it was, like, 15 bucks. And now we do it every day at home. We have our whole, we have our home sensory class and it's awesome. And like, um, like fit for mom, like fit for mom, totally worth the money, totally worth like the, like there's like this community of moms and they all work out together. And if you don't know what fit for moms is and they have like workout classes that you can do with your kids and they even have some without the kids. So it's totally worth the money, but I can't see myself spending $80 a month to work out with my friends at the park. So what I did the other day was one of my other friends loves working out too. So we all met up at the park with a few moms and we just worked out at the park and it was free. So so there's an idea. And like for museum days, there's free museum days, right? So I didn't know this until about a year ago, but you can go to the all these museums and all these activities in LA for free and there's this museum called Kid Spaces, which is, like, awesome museum. And it's $15 to get into, like, regularly. So that's, like, $45 for me, my husband, and Elijah. And But they do free family night every first Tuesday of the month. And um, 
I'm like, well, we just need to go to free family night to save $45. Um, and it's totally worth it. So every Tuesday, every first Tuesday, I'm there getting my free family night on, okay? Because I don't want to spend $45. And I think it's totally worth it, even though it may not be the, like the time that we want to go, it's still worth it going and changing his bedtime for one night like I totally feel like it's super worth it um um what am I trying to say it's totally worth it to you know change his bedtime to go um on free family night and like for like soccer and things like that like get your kids together like with their friends like I think one of my friends pays like two hundred dollars or something for their whole soccer thing or and some and like I do feel like team sports are like so necessary um but once again if you don't have the money don't feel like that you can't do that you can't improvise something so get your friends together play soccer in the park once a week and that'll be like your kids soccer team so I think that that's another way to to um save money also number six I'm on Dollar Tree. So before you walk into Target, check at Dollar Tree. I always make this mistake and I'll go to Target first and then I'll go to Dollar Tree. I'm just like, oh my God, I just bought this at Target (laughs) and it's here for a dollar. So go to Dollar Tree first, okay? My mistake going second. Um, And number seven, there's free resources out there. There's free like family resources, free clothes, free cribs, free everything. You just have to look for it. Um, There's a group on Facebook called Buy Nothing and I'll put the link in the description. Um, And you have to get added to the group. And it's awesome. So it's this group of moms and they just swap things out and then you write on there like, oh, I need um, a toy for something. One of my friends got like a bunch of her like son's birthday things from um, the Buy Nothing group. And um, it was awesome. These moms were just dropping stuff off at her door like every five minutes <laughs> for, for free. And it was just awesome. And like you feel the need to like give back and it's just like you give what you can. And, you know, if you have something that you don't want, you give it. And there's another um, um, thing we do in one of my mom's groups. Um, we do kid swaps. So all the moms bring all of the things they want to get rid of and that they don't use anymore that their kids grew out of toys, clothes, and we bring it and we swap things and, you know, you take what you want and all the moms just take whatever they need and whatever's left over, we just donate to charity. And I think that's super awesome. (laughs) And so there's just so much free stuff out there to get. And there's moms just like giving things away, like because they want to declutter and they want to Marie Kondo everything. <laughs> so there's so many moms getting rid of things and um, don't miss out on your blessing, okay? And I'm sure you know moms like with kids around the same age and it's just like, oh, do you, do you still want this or do you still want that? Or let's meet up, let's swap things or, you know, just be creative and figure things out. And last but not least, number eight, and this one is for every one (laughs) cancel your cable okay just cancel it you don't need it um netflix is awesome um hulu is awesome um but that's just a big way to save money like cable and so what we do is my grandma has cable (laughs) so she gave us her password and so we watch just like our favorite shows just like online using her password so if your grandma has cable or your mom has cable just say hey can i get your password and then you can watch like whatever shows that you want to watch on um because there's like an internet password to um to watch your shows online like when you're on the go so um yeah that's another great way to save money that we do to save money but there's tons of other ways email me if there's like um um a way that you love to save money that you want to share comment below on your money saving tips i would love to hear them um and also if something is important to you keep it in your life don't feel like oh i need to cut back everywhere like 
keep things in your life that are important to you. It's it's going to affect your happiness. Don't get rid of it. Um, and that is it for this episode. I can't wait to hear some of your money-saving tips too. Have a great week, guys. Bye.